Hello, everybody. We are the Fine Brothers. It is possible that some of you don't know who we are, but we are the founders of FBE. We should say it together. Hi, Hi we're, we're the, the Fine Brothers. Brothers. I don't know why we don't do consider that. yourselves warned anymore. Okay. We're not going to spoil things, we'll except see. for this update video that has a lot of things that we're giving you an update about. So this is an update video. We're going to have to be doing these a little bit more as a channel like ours that has so many different shows on it. There's changes that happen, and it can be confusing if we don't talk to you guys. So this is the first of probably many, whether it's us or other team members here that will be coming on to kind of give you the general update. But this is about gaming. It's yeah. the gaming update. So we've done a lot of updates about gaming over time because it is the thing on the channel that is uh, that struggles the most mm -hmm. because only certain people like to watch it on the channel. And so even right now, it's yet another update about how we're having to change the way gaming works on the React channel. So first of all, the Tuesday games, the one-off games, those aren't going anywhere. This is all about the Let's Plays, playing a game all the way through that we brought back several months ago after a lot of clamor for it because we know how much the people who watch that content probably are more obsessed with those videos than any other video that FB even makes, is the Let's Play fans. Just, like, as obsessed as we are here at the company about them, we love them a lot, but it's the struggle of not everybody wants to watch those. So here's reality check time. Yeah, so the reality is that even in the other update videos that we talked about it, the gaming episodes are some of the most expensive things that uh, we produce uh, with the amount of time that it takes to put them together. And so we've always been trying to figure out, well, how do we get more people to watch them and how do we make this work? But the time that goes into having all the talent in, the producers, the months and the of editors, editing, literally everything. Uh, the views just aren't there. Because that is happening, we're having to make a bit of a change because it's not just impacting like the Let's Plays themselves, it actually is impacting the channel completely. This is the wonderful algorithm problems on YouTube ongoing where if you end up having a video on your channel or a show that we make that is getting less views, then that makes all the other uh, shows on a channel also start to get less views as well because it stops recommending the videos out to you if you don't watch the gaming episodes. Yeah, that's why you might realize if you stopped watching one of your favorite YouTubers for like a week and then you like never get recommended their video again because that's kind of the way the algorithm is. We are talking to YouTube about this. They don't believe us all the time about these things. So the Let's Plays though are not completely no. going away forever. They're just leaving YouTube. We adapt. We adapt and change. Roth, what's happening to the Let's Plays? We're gonna be moving and transitioning a lot of what we do when it comes to gaming over to Twitch. And we're gonna be doing a lot of other things on Twitch and have already started playing around with Twitch. And so this is telling you all the different things we're gonna be doing on Twitch. And going to Twitch is to help make this more sustainable because we're live. We don't have to worry as much about things like the editing. We're able to also do things that we see comments about all the time. Probably the two most common comments from the gaming fans are, why aren't you finishing this game a hell of a lot faster? And it's, well, it because... takes us a year to play a game. <laughs> Correct. Yes. And also, a lot of times we'll play a game and then people will say, that was awesome. Play it with another generation. But that's not possible. It's not going to work. Right. So this is going to kind of kill two birds with one stone, as they say, make it more sustainable to produce and also be able to do both of those things on Twitch in and, a more easy way. And even we'll talk about it a little later, which is that the hope is because the money on YouTube with demonetization and all the problems with the views, Twitch is hopefully a different solution that allows you guys to help support the show more to help us continue to make it with subscribing and donating and things like that. So let's roll through specifically, like yeah. what is the transition going to be from the Let's Plays on YouTube to now all this content on Twitch? So first is that with Until Dawn, that is going to wrap up tomorrow. The last tomorrow. Let's Play yeah. upload tomorrow on the React channel. Benny is going to cry. Benny's a crier. I don't know if people <laughs> know that. It's a very... Have you been in a try not to cry yet? I've not, but if I was going to say it's a known thing but i think it's only known to the people who work here that i cry all the time so tomorrow until dawn is finishing on the channel and then next week on thursday is going to be bringing tom tory and scott who have been playing until dawn this whole time they're going to be completing the until dawn experience live on twitch with the vr prequel and that's going to be next week on thursday that you'll be able to do that so if you want to see the last until dawn with those people you're going to have to go to twitch See, that's how we're trying to get you to go over there. We're not going <laughs> to put it up go. over here. Uh, so next is that the two games that everybody's been asking for the most over the past while is Doki Doki Literature Club and Dream Daddy. So first week of April, we're going to start playing those. Yes, but it'll be Doki Doki first, then Dream Daddy. Yeah. But that's going to be multi-generational. It's going to be multiple hour streams. Again, getting through these games substantially faster, potentially in just two to three weeks. And that, for us, that's always been that extra layering of what we can do here with having so many generations. It's, I think it'll be really interesting to watch every week 
as they're progressing through the game, what are the different choices and the different things that the teens are experiencing and thinking versus the elders, and you can watch that week by week now, which is cool. We're hoping a few weeks after we launch Let's Plays on Twitch to actually start doing weekly generational gaming tournaments. But what we've always wanted to do, but have not really been able to do on YouTube, is have the generational tournaments all in the same game, multiple weeks, like each week a different generation. Then the winners of each play in the Grand React Generational Championship Tournament very of the important. month. It's very important. There's talk of that becoming a Sunday stream, so that's coming, but that's still not all, because yeah. As we continue to grow and hopeful success of this initiative on Twitch, we also want to kind of look at the shows that are very popular on YouTube that everyone loves to play along with and figure out the live version of that. So we're talking about things like Guess That Song or Try Not To Laugh and trying to do those things not just live but also with you guys in the chat playing along or sending things as we're yeah. going to try to stump everybody. I think we're trying to figure out if like some of these shows might work well to be an hour long two hour long live version of it and very very engaging with you guys and have fun in that way but it also could be that we have some things that are showing almost behind the scenes of us right. doing these things like challenge chalice is a good example of like we could kind of maybe show that while we're filming uh or you can just watch the filming of a teens react we're trying to figure out all these different things that you guys can help us figure out what do you like what do you don't so if all of that wasn't enough to get you to follow us over on twitch and subscribe and donate if you're able to to help support and make us be able to keep making all this stuff uh the community team is going to still be streaming over there. They've been streaming there for a while now, and they're going to be hanging out playing games all the time. So there's going to be streams constantly, but including Tom and Eric streaming on Tuesdays and Fortnite Fridays with Tori. So that's going to be going all the time. There's going to be streams multiple hours basically every single day, which is pretty awesome. So to kind of wrap up this whole update video is that we're having to figure out how to evolve as An time experiment, goes on. experiment, yeah. yeah. And that the reality of it is for the company overall is that we're making like 20 videos a week now. You guys are loving to watch it. We're loving to produce it, but it's a struggle to figure out how to actually make enough money to keep producing those things. Especially when you have a team as large as this team has become. And so that's where you end up in a situation from YouTube demonetizing and YouTube not serving the videos out to the fans. Uh, you have to start putting the content on YouTube and it makes a very little bit amount of money. Then you end up on Facebook and you make a little bit of money. And now you're trying to go over to Twitch and try to make a little bit of money because it just hasn't, the industry hasn't matured yet where the things like advertising just pays for it all. And that's why you'll see us or some other channels end up with things like subscribe on Twitch, donate on Twitch, even though it feels like, but you have this huge YouTube channel, what do you need that for? And it is the reality that the team that is here is producing so much content, we can't do some of these things unless we have some of that support. So if you are able to subscribe, it is really a huge, huge thing that you can do to support FBE. There's of course all of the usual Twitch perks when you subscribe, like this sub-only Discord, and uh, ads free, and uh, emotes and all of that. So all that is already there. There's gonna be even more cool stuff, especially in success as we keep rolling this out and seeing what everybody wants. But we're really excited about this move to Twitch to engage with you all even in a whole new way. And we just appreciate you rolling with the punches with us and trying to figure out how to make this all work. And we'll be keeping on going with these types of update videos. We're so coming try to back. Help you guys know more of what's going on, why we're changing, what we're changing. Because and if the algorithm did serve on, this video to you, help doubtful. everyone else understand. Doubtful. When they're like, what happened to Let's Plays, you guys can all tell them. I predict 130,000 views. I predict 170,000 views. He really likes the algorithm. He thinks that it works. Thank you so much again. We will see you next week. Well, we won't. But you will see amazing people next week on Twitch on Thursday.